Hello guys, today I'll be showing you a quick and easy way how to set up your inbound call webhook URL uh, for your retail voice agents. This is very important for any business that wants to incorporate uh, voice agents for their inbound systems. Um, the voice agent has to be able to retrieve the customer name which is calling, has to be able to see which appointments uh, is related to the customer, which is the use case we'll be using today. So I have a quick demo set up right here and I'm going to call this and uh, show you guys how this works. Uh, very simple. So here we have the make scenario. So we're going to see if she knows what time my appointment is. Hello, thank you for calling Denticare. This is Kate from the appointment department. How can I assist you today? Yes, hello Kate. Uh, I had an appointment set up, but I forgot which date it was. No problem at all. Let me check that for you. You have an appointment scheduled for January 20th at 3 p.m. Would you like to know anything else about it? Yeah, so as you guys can see, uh, it ran our make scenario. I'm going to actually show you guys how this uh, works really quick. It's actually very simple. So we have our custom webhook uh, set up right here. Uh, we have this webhook URL set up also within our uh, retail agent. Um, so once uh, somebody calls our retail voice agent, it's going to trigger this webhook. It's going to trigger the scenario. And it's going to give us something very important, which is the phone number which is calling us, as you can see right here. Um, so yeah, once we have the phone number, we are going to want to search within, within our CRM system. In my case, I'm using like a Google database as like a demo purpose uh, that, uh, CRM. But this could also be like ClickUp or Airtable, whatever your business is using, you can just use this. And uh, what, you, what we want to do is we want to uh, use the phone number which is calling us. And we're going to want to filter for this specific phone number. As you can see here, I also removed the plus from the phone number, so I'm replacing it with an empty string. Why I'm doing this is because Google Sheets doesn't really like the pluses, because it's going to make like a sum, because Google Sheets is so used to like uh, calculations, etc. So we're going to want to remove the plus and just keep like a, just a number string. And uh, yeah, that's why I'm removing it. So it's going to search for that phone number and it's going to re uh, return the row from that uh, row. Uh, it's going to return the row which is associated with that phone number. So as you can see here, it looked through the database and it gave us the patient name, gave us the patient uh, appointments, which is set up for this uh, number. And that's how we can basically uh, personalize the conversation. So once we have those variables, we're going to want to assign them. So we have first name, we're going to assign it as row A, the row A we just found, so the patient name, as you can see A then. And we go, we're going to also want to do the same for the appointments. So row C for the appointments. And uh, now we have those variables set up. And all we have to do basically now is just respond to the webhook with those variables we just assigned. How are we going to do that? We're going to want to get the variables we just set up. So we have the first name and we have the appointments. And we're going to put that in the webhook response. Because uh, retail AI, we trigger the webhook. And now we have to communicate back to Retail AI. This is uh, the data we just received. And it's going to want to get it like this, like a JSON format. Uh, I'm uh, going to uh, put the blueprint in the description as well. So you guys don't actually have to do this yourself. But it's uh, this is basically it. So we're going to uh, assign a dynamic variable first name. Like this is important, guys. Like this is a retail uh, variable, which we will be feeding to retail. And this is the one we made in make.com. So this is the uh, make.com uh, variable. The one we uh, made here and the one we get here. So we're going to want the retail variable first name as the one we made in make. The appointments, we're going to also want to assign it to the appointments we received from make. And we're also, guys, this is uh, I guess a bit of standard standard practice for retail. You always want to give the current date as well because retail does a very bad job with dates. It's uh, AI doesn't really like uh, dates very much uh, at the moment. Um, so yeah, do that. Uh, I'm using now from Make, so it's giving back my time zone. If you have your own custom time zone, I would recommend you to use World API to get the time zone of your preferred country uh, or uh, a time zone. Uh, so yeah, here I'm uh, getting the date. I'm formatting it as well as year month date hour and minutes this is this is very easy for the ai to understand so uh, yeah very simple so once we uh respond that so we're going to uh, give that to retail ai first name appointments and the current date 
and now the AI agent can use these variables within its prompt but we also have to tell it to use those variables how we do that is uh, within the prompt we ask it to use these variables when available we have the patient name and we're going to want to put this in double brackets guys because this is like standard for make uh, for a retail AI it wants uh, the variable within double brackets patient has the following appointments double brackets and today is current date so now when an inbound phone call comes the agent is going to look within the database it's going to retrieve the first name etc and then the AI uh, has access to those uh, variables uh, so yeah guys very simple um, I'm uh, sorry if I forgot anything I'm sorry if I didn't explain anything let me know anything in the comments if I can help you guys out any questions um, don't worry about it I would love to help out and uh, yeah hope you guys uh, managed to make it work I'll put the download link in the description and uh, good luck guys